Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. New observations from Antarctica further confirm the existence of cosmic neutrinos. Neutrinos are particles with almost no mass that rarely interact with other particles and are thus able to pass unhindered through matter. Cosmic neutrinos are those which are thought to originate from outside our own galaxy. The first evidence for the existence of cosmic neutrinos was reported two years ago. Now, a new study created using Antarctica's Ice Cube Observatory confirms these earlier observations, reporting the detection of high-energy muons, which are generated on the very rare occasions when neutrinos do interact with other particles. Cosmic neutrinos are generated by black holes and massive supernovae. Studying them could tell us things about the universe that we can't learn anywhere else. That makes these particles pretty amazing. But what's also amazing to me is how these observations were taken. The Ice Cube Observatory is located near the South Pole, but it observes the sky of the Northern Hemisphere through the planet Earth. Background radiation can make it difficult to detect neutrinos if looking through the atmosphere, so the Ice Cube Observatory uses Earth itself as a filter. This new study is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. Next up, researchers have developed a new drug to counteract the damage of radiation exposure. The drug, created by a team at the University of Texas Medical Branch, is delivered via a single injection. In a mouse model, it was found to significantly increase the rate of survival if administered 24 hours after exposure. The drug counteracts damage caused to the gastrointestinal system by potentially lethal levels of radiation. Peptide drug TP508, as it's known, was developed to stimulate tissue repair. It's previously been shown effective in aiding the healing of diabetic foot ulcers. Based on the results of this new study, researchers believe the drug could be an effective countermeasure against radiation exposure, giving victims enough time to receive more advanced medical treatment. This study is published in the journal Laboratory Investigation. And finally, an update on Nobel Peace Prize winner and all-around awesome person Malala Yousafzai. Malala, the fearless advocate for girls' education who three years ago survived an assassination attempt by the Taliban in her native Pakistan, turned 18 last month. She celebrated her birthday in Lebanon, near the border with Syria, at a school for Syrian girls that was financed by the Malala Fund, a nonprofit dedicated to investing in the education of girls worldwide. She also gave a speech where she called on the leaders of the world to invest in books, not bullets. In addition to turning 18 and opening a school, Malala's father recently announced that she finished high school and got straight A's. Malala told The Guardian that she intends to continue her education at university. She said, quote, My dream is to empower myself with education, and then it is a weapon. You can donate to the Malala Fund by going to www.malala.org. An observatory detects cosmic neutrinos, a new drug offers protection from radiation poisoning, and Malala Yousafzai opens a school and gets straight A's. Not at the same school. She got straight A's at the school where she was a student, not the school that she opened. Hey, that's the good news. Go ahead and call for help. Can't nobody hear you.